Okay, so from this sound, we're gonna get to this sound. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Yo, man, yeah, I'm good. I'm here in the studio and I'm ready to show you something cool. So yeah, just to present yourself, who you are and what music do you make? Okay, so I'm Davide, also known as, as a festo, and I'm a producer from Italy. And I'm producing since 2015, but focused more on hard styles since like three or four years. I'm all, all, all the time trying to, you know, doing some fresh stuff and also to make samples out of, you know, those strange things because I've noticed that a lot of producers used to have the same sounds, the same samples. So I'm trying to, you know, uh, all the time create something also to improve your personal sound because I think that your personal sound is what makes you go on into music. Yeah, especially in hardstyle, it's like a lot of uh, producers from hardstyle want to make like everything like themselves, like all the kids themselves, all the leads themselves to make it sound more unique. But why did you choose hardstyle and not other genres? Well, I, uh, I've chosen hardstyle because in 2016, I, I really had no inspiration for producing for stuff. At first I didn't like our style, I'm honest. I was like, oh, this is just noise, it's too much distortion, no, I don't like this. But then um, I came out with the fact that it was something that really uh, made me feel something really deep inside me. I said, why why not? Why shouldn't I try to, to start producing hard style? And then, of course, I, I first tried, you know, with the first free download kicks. And of course, shout out to Frontliner <laughs> because his packs are incredible. And after years, years after year, I've tried to, you know, create something new because I wanted people to listen to my tracks and say, oh, wow, this is a Festo track. Well, guys, down below in the description, you're going to have a link to Spotify or Festo, so this way you can tag his music. So, well, man, I guess it's enough. Let's go directly to Apple Studio and let's see how you made a kick out of a fart. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the story begins with an audio on WhatsApp. This time the original file helped me a lot because this part is already good sounding. Okay, so from this sound, we're gonna get to this sound. And I don't know the person that made that fart had a problem or not, but my farts don't sound like this. <laughs> Maybe because it's a hard style <laughs> fart. So I started with this. And it already sounds good. I just did some, you know, EQ. I've removed some money frequencies. Added some bass and also some mid-high frequencies. Yeah, for that crispy sound. And then after this, I just applied a wave shaper, which is a native plugin that I use a lot. It limits your uh, kick and also gives uh, some compression and also a little bit of distortion. Why do you use Wave Shaper and not other distortion plugins? Well, I use Wave Shaper because it's first of all it's really quick and it's mm, for things like this I think it's good because you don't need you know something really pro. I usually use Isotop Trash 2 for making kicks and stuff but for also to make this one and take it easy, I'm just using the wave shaper. After doing this, everything is gonna be on the sample edit in FL Studio because I think that it's really working good for kicks like this. I'm just, you know, using the pogo. And it's already good sounding. Changes a lot. I just add some little of multiply. So the bass is coming a little bit late later. Yeah, so so now just with this, just with the pogo and the multiplier, it just you created all the punch of the kick. You didn't need other things. Yeah, yeah, the, the punch is also creating here because you know sometimes when you are creating normal hard style kicks, you get the punch out of maybe a bell or stuff. But working on the pogo with uh, sounds that already have you know uh, something good can have this and also uh, I, I'm never gonna stop seeing this there is really no perfect recipe it's all about uh, making stuff sound to your ear sometimes I, I don't even know what I'm doing because sometimes I just 
uh, twist the knobs and see what happens. Sometimes that's the key. Sometimes, all, especially at the beginning, when you're starting, just touch knobs and see what, what knob is doing. Many people start asking you, oh my god, how did you achieve that sound? How did you get that? And mostly of the time, I'm like, okay, so you have to follow this. And people say, but this makes no sense. Yeah, but in the end, you liked the results, so it's all about this. If it works, it works. Okay, so after uh, working on this, I'm gonna export it on Edison, take it again on FL Studio, and this is again something on Pogo. And I've also pitched just a little up and also again some multiplier. It gets, you know, a better note, a more resonant note. I've now finished the kick, but I think that it still needs something because it's important in art style that you create something to go to the next kick. Yeah, like a reverse sound, something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna now record a part of the punch and then put it uh, on reverse. Okay, recording the kick, just isolating the punch. Okay, so the punch here, reverse it, and maybe some multiplicator. Delete all the bass frequencies. And adding just a little bit of high end. Now, some automation on the volume. It needs some more stretching, some more, some more multiplicator. I think the result uh, it's better because first it was like this and now it sounds like this. And do you add river sometimes to those tails? No, I only add river on the punch. You know, uh, I think it's important for tracks to switch kicks and have some difference, otherwise people will be, I don't know, will get tired of uh, a mid intro with the same kick all the time. So maybe you can do the first part with this. And then you can add a reverberate punch. In all your songs you have this kind of kick, this kind of attack. Yeah, yeah, people start is starting to recognize me because of this kick. And of course I don't want to say that, yeah, people have to know this is mine. But they say, oh wow, this is your kick, so I'm, I'm happy with this. I'll remove the first part so it's, the click is not too loud. Yeah, so you, you still have the punch of the previous kick, but you have like this character of your kicks. That's more character and I'm now adding some reverb so the sound stays for all the kick length. I have a personal preset for this. And I use the peak controller, I link the Valhalla to it. You can see here that the knob is doing this. Yeah, so this way when the when the kick starts, it doesn't have that that reverb, so it sounds cleaner. It's totally uh, dry, and then the wet comes in, so there is not a big mess. And after this, I add maybe a Fab Filter Pro C2 to, to compress. Okay, so after doing this, I'm now linking everything into one channel. And I'm now using, of course, some EQ. And finally using some Max Ford Inflator. So I guess we're finished. Wow, man, I mean, it sounds super good for just coming out of a fart. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, there's no uh, limits on sound design, you know? You can make anything out of anything. For example, a horse kick out of a fart. Your imagination is your limit, you know? And man, just to finish this, do you have maybe any tips for making horse kicks or just making horse in general? The first thing is make something personal. As I said before, you have to share your passion, you have to share your feelings and everything. Um, through your music it's important and the sound design should follow what you think is good and again uh, sometimes less is more because at first I was like oh I need a lot of you know uh, layers I need a lot of stuff yeah it's good to use a lot of layers but 
it's not using a lot of layers that will make your music sound good because you you have to know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, if you spend just a little bit of time in playing with knobs with silent or serum or with social plugins, you will learn how to make sound, how to sound, how to that knob will affect your sound. Don't be scared on trying new things. Don't be scared on trying something that was really not created. Yeah, so man, thank you so much for being here today and to show us how you make hardstyle kicks out of crazy things like this. Um, do you maybe have new songs coming soon for the people that is watching the video? Well, I just released a new track with my friend Zion on Unlocked Records and it's out now, so check it out on Spotify. Also, I have actually used this kick into the track, so make sure to listen to it and see how it came out. So guys, down below in the description, as you said, you have the link to his Spotify to listen to his music, and maybe let's see if you recognize this kick in that song. I'm also trying to give more importance to my YouTube channel, so search for me on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. You're gonna see some videos of my tracks, and I am think maybe I'm gonna, you know, try to post more content. So man, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for hosting We stay in touch and see you next time, man. Bye. Bye, guys.